everybody welcome back to our channel um, hope you guys liked the video I posted earlier about uh, everything that's going on with Michael and angry grandpa and Charlie chill and uh, I don't know what we're gonna get into today um, I know at some point in time I want to go outside and try to cut some grass it'll probably be the last time I'll have to cut grass this year just clean up out front there's a piece of red fencing that I will show you guys later out there that has probably been here for what would you say like 15 years or better probably yeah. and the fence is like falling over the hillside so I'm gonna go out there and take it down because there's no sense in having it because it's literally leaning like this so we're gonna get that down but baby Chubbs is bouncing in her bouncer huh I tell you what she's a little ham anytime we put this camera on her she's uh pretty stoked so um yeah i don't know what mrs chubbs is wanting to get into today uh i don't know i want to make big mac pizza mrs chubbs wants to make big mac pizza i've been hearing about big mac pizza now for since i was pregnant yeah for a very long time so i'm assuming we're probably going to make big mac pizza at some point in time today and um the dogs are just being bums they're all laid around i just woke up a little bit ago i got up made the charlie chill get behind the camera and your grandpa video that uh i hope you guys liked it if you did please give it a thumbs up don't forget to like share subscribe and um yeah that's about it i'm just sitting here we're gonna get motivated here shortly to get up i'm just waiting because right now it's only what 38 degrees outside yeah. and it's cold i don't want to be outside in 38 degree weather hey i'm trying to vlog here she's like you're not vlogging me dad she don't care but anyways yeah so let us get away get motivated a little bit and uh we'll get back on here in a second guys all right guys so i didn't get it on camera because i was too excited i didn't even get it on my phone because it's charging if you guys were on the live stream earlier you seen that i had to call it quits pretty quick because my phone was like dying but little baby chubs was just crawling a minute ago huh now mind you we have to like bribe her with like xbox controllers but let's see if she'll do it no hold on let me move it back a little farther let's see what she does oh you're gonna make you gonna make daddy chubbs look like a liar yep goofball. ball miss chubbs say hi hi she's currently working on the baby's books and uh, I'm yeah. so far behind on them. She she uh she's missed quite a few months, so um she's trying to get some of it done and uh we're just sitting around. I don't know what we're gonna get into right now. It's probably gonna be like what you're seeing now is probably what you're gonna get. I don't know. We're just kinda hanging out and um yeah, maybe here in a little while we'll do because I know I've been putting it off forever. Maybe I'll show you guys some of our house i don't know mrs chubbs is giving me that look like <sighs> yeah we got like three days of cleaning i have to dust before i show you the house because somebody not saying names or anything does not like the dust she actually told me when we first got together and we first moved in she said listen i'll clean the house i'll sweep but i don't ever dust so if you want your house dusted you're gonna do it i'm like okay i'll dust <laughs> playing with it our chihuahua every time he takes food out of the food bowl he'll like jump at it and play with it like he's a cat he's weird he's not right but anyways that's all we're doing guys all right guys so oh, i'm outside i'm gonna start taking this fence down because it's just rotted um i will show you it now and let you see what i'm gonna do so it's this fence right here see it's all leaning it's about to fall over the hill so before it falls over the hill I'm gonna take it down and uh, so that's not something that I have to walk down over the hill and grab so hang tight guys and uh, we'll see what I can get done Alright guys, so as you can see, it fell down the hill. So I gotta drag it all up. But you can see where it's all rotted, like right here. So let me get this stuff cleaned up and I'll be back with you in a minute. 
All right, guys, so I'm back inside. Mrs. Chubbs got done showering or bathing the baby. The baby took a bottle. The baby is sleeping. The baby poured the dog water. The baby on. poured the whole bowl of dog water uh, that was on the floor all over herself. I didn't think she would be able to tip it over because it was in a big bowl, but she was able to. <laughs> we all got a good chuckle out of it, and then Mrs. Chubbs went and bathed her. Um, I'm just sitting here watching YouTube, and I'm not going to say who it was. Who the YouTube channel is, because I'm just, I don't care to say his name, because I'm going to catch hell if I do. But I hate people, this is my another little rant, first it was Charlie Chill, now it's this. I hate when people have money and they boast about all the stuff they bought. Like, oh, I bought this, this was, you know, like 1500 this was 1700 this, you know, we spent like 10000 today. Who cares? I don't care. I really don't care. Stupid. I don't get it. And that's all they're showing on their vlog. Yeah, this person, that's all they show. Like, th them just blowing ridiculous amounts of money. Now, granted, sometimes in his videos, which the one I'm probably going to be watching here soon, is something good. But he does do stuff for other people. But, like, you don't got to say how much it was. You don't got to say how much the gift was that you got your best friend or your mom or your dad or whatever. Like, you know, I get the videos where, like, with Roman Atwood, where he buys his dad a car. I get it, because his dad deserved it. You know, I get it where Michael bought his dad a car and bought his dad the house. I get it. But not whenever you just blatantly flaunt it. You just spent, like, $1,300 on a necklace or $10,000 on a man purse or... It's stupid, guys. It's dumb. I don't get it. But to each their own, I guess some like to spew out what they spend uh, you know i'm not that type of person then again i'm not the type of person that would go and drop five hundred dollars on a stupid wallet or a thousand dollars on a purse because i'm a man and men don't wear man bags look at this look at it um yeah the baby is ko'd look at this Sleeping. it's a little dark but right there is the baby oh my gosh Maybe she's going to let me eat. She's out like a light. <laughs> Mrs. Chubbs has only been saying how she's hungry. She needs to eat for the last, like, two hours. So hopefully she's able to eat now. The issue is, is when baby Chubbs is sleepy, she only wants her mother. That's it. Just her mom. So. Anyways, guys, that's what's going on right now. Alright, guys. So, I told you we'd be back. And, uh... We're going to talk about the Charlie Chill issue in here, Mrs. Chubbs. You guys kind of heard what I thought about it. So now I'm going to zip it a little bit and let you guys uh, talk to Mrs. Chubbs. Hi, guys. So um, first I want to say that Mr. Chubbs is the one that introduced me to YouTube, period. Um, and the very first person that we started wa that he started watching was was it angry grandpa over a Roman at one or was it about both of them at the same time it was more of angry grandpa first and then it moved to Roman Atwood and uh it, it was more of kid behind the camera first and then I found angry grandpa then Roman Atwood and then the videos of other channels just started popping in so what well, Mr. Chubbs watches YouTube all the time. Like, we really don't need ca cable when 24 he's 7. Because literally, that's all he watches. So, um, we started watching both of them. And, what, Jugger Nuggets or however. The Jugger Nuggets. <laughs> and so, I really took the Roman Atwood very, like, I love Roman. He's my favorite. But it took me a long time to, I think, warm up to Michael and Bridget and them. Um, and then the more, you don't understand when I tell you that he watches them all the time. Like, I can't explain to you. There would be times where our TV's on 24-7 and it is nothing but Michael's vlogs playing over and over and over and over again. So you know how like you hear a song on the radio and at first you're like, God, I hate that song so bad. And then you watch, you hear the same song over and over and over again. And then finally, well, let me, let me just cut her off there. This is how bad it was. So after she had the baby, right? I broke my ankle. 
And then I ended up getting the flu, if you remember right. Uh -huh. I got I got the flu like the day after surgery. I was sick as can be. Um, I couldn't eat nothing. All I could really do was drink and drink and drink. That was it. And uh, so I had to lay in the bed because I'm a big guy. I couldn't use crutches. Every time I would use a walker and I would hop on one leg, it would jolt my right leg that was broken and it would hurt. So for four months, I would stay in bed. And for those four months, because I couldn't work, I couldn't help her with the baby. The only thing I could really do was once in a while she'd bring the baby into the bedroom. And when she did bring the baby in the bedroom, the baby in the bedroom couldn't even stay in there with me that long. Because I was hopped up on Percocets that they prescribed to me because I was in so much pain. So I was high all the time. Not that I wanted to be high, but that was the only way I could deal with the pain was the prescribed Percocets that they gave me at the hospital. So I couldn't keep the baby that long because I was always doped up. But I literally watched Kid Behind the Camera from his very first video to his current videos. For four months, I laid in that bedroom watching Kid Behind the Camera videos. If that don't tell you how dedicated I am, I don't know what will. Because I, I literally have watched, I promise you, every video that man's ever made. And I'm pretty sure that like... 50 to 100 views on most of his videos from him <laughs> and let me and let me just tell you too real quick my dad um i don't know if i've gotten into too much detail but my dad had a mental breakdown after my mother passed away he lives with us you guys will probably never see him in a vlog because we've asked him before he doesn't want to be on video he kind of hangs out on his own down in the basement, watches TV, does his own thing. We go down there, we talk with him, but for the most part, he don't want to be associated with anybody or anything. There for months, he was watching Angry Grandpa, and he actually liked it. Mm -hmm. Like, he would sit down there and like it, and for my dad to like that is, like, rare because you know how he is. He watches... Um, what is it? Dirty Dancing, Dirty Pretty Woman. <laughs> Dirty Dancing, Pretty um, Woman, Titanic. Forrest Gump. Forrest Gump. Overboard. And Overboard. And then the TV shows are usually Reba. And Roseanne. Roseanne. And um, the Andy Griffith Show. And King of Queens. And King of Queens. So he has a very select bracket of stuff that he watches. But for some reason, Angry Grandpa, he would watch it 24-7. And he really, he really liked Angry Grandpa. But go ahead. So... Anyways, after it being forced down my throat, um, I think I accepted it because I liked them because they came from nothing. Um, you know, they had absolutely nothing. And it's not like they were rich and they just got richer. Or, you know, I mean, you, you, if you were Michael and Bridget fans or Angry Grandpa fans, you know that they came from nothing. I mean, at one point in the video, he talked about how he wanted to thank Bridget for sticking by him because they had to sleep on mattresses where the springs were coming up through and literally stabbing them. Right, and there were um, cockroaches. cockroaches everywhere. Yeah. And so, you know, that just goes to show you that if you want something, you just got to keep at it because, you know, he'll tell you he started out with very few subscribers and everything, and it just happened. And so... Anyways, I, I watch him with Mr. Chubbs now. Um, I guess I like Bridget. I'm Team Bridget. <laughs> um, I do think that some things are over the top, and sometimes I'm like, oh, my God, and Mr. Chubbs is like, stop it. Now, I told you guys earlier that I was in a dark place when my mom passed away, but now that Mrs. Chubbs is here, you can ask her. There was numerous times before... Um, there was numerous times before she would ask, or I would ask Mrs. Chubbs, I'd be like, I want to get a shotgun. I want to get a shotgun. She didn't know why. I think she did towards the end. But, you know, after my mom had passed away, I was just at a point in my life to where, now at the time all I had was Mrs. Chubbs and our dogs, and uh, that was it. You know, my dad still wasn't living with us yet, but I was just at the point to where I didn't care to live. I, I really could have cared less i just wanted to get a shotgun i wanted the you can fill in the blank and uh i'm telling you right now if it wasn't for granted i love her to death but there was times where i just couldn't talk to her you know i didn't want her to see her 300 pound tattooed six foot one boyfriend whine and cry like a little two-year-old so there would be times where i talked to my one dog roman you've seen him in the videos we've had him the longest for about four years 
And uh, he helped too, but it got to the point to where I was just sick of it. I was sick of life. And I was slowly watching YouTube, but it was more like watching music videos and fight videos. And I stumbled across Angry Grandpa. And I'll tell you what, if it wasn't for Angry Grandpa and Michael, not saying that they're the whole reason, but they're part of the reason that if I wouldn't have found their channel, I don't know where I'd be. I'd probably be dead right now. There would be no Reagan. There would be nothing. Nothing. So, I don't know. That's why I'm getting so upset with Charlie Chill because... And, we're, and after today, hopefully, we don't have to speak about him again. But he's worthless. Everybody, you know, everybody's saying that, oh, he was hacked and his family are just blackmailing him to do this and to do that. No. No, and, they're not. And it doesn't, like, he had it all. Let's just, like, when he was living with Michael, even when he was living with Angry Grandpa, he had it all. His channel was doing really well. He could have been something on YouTube. You know, he was basically living off of both of them. So, I mean, you know, then, so then Angry Grandpa kicked him out, which we didn't know why at first and then find out why. And then he moved into Michael's house. His um, pool house. Which is so nice. It was so nice. <laughs> that pool house is literally probably bigger than our house that we live in upstairs. Yeah, most certainly. And so he's living there and basically freeloading off Michael because he straight up tells you that Michael was buying him food and stuff like that. Helping him pay his, his kid's child support. Right. And then to do all those horrible things and to say all those horrible things. I mean, it's just a huge disgrace. And especially at a time like right now. Um, you know, here we are. We don't even know these people in person, but Mr. Chubbs, he's been so upset about Angry Grandpa. Like, Ooh. seriously, almost like that's his grandpa, and he doesn't know how to accept it. You know, he's got this going on with his grandma in real life, and then this going on with Angry Grandpa, and he has been a, a little bit of a basket case, you uh -huh. know. And there's, there's been a lot of going on, and I know Mrs. Chubb spoke about it in uh, one of her videos. So just clarify this. I don't want to go into too much detail because it's not my place. When the time comes, I will discuss it with my family and ask them. But from what I've been hearing and seeing, um, my grandmother is not doing well at all. She's very sick. Um, she's got some medical issues to wear. I can't go to the hospital and see her. I refuse to go to the hospital and see her just because of the fact that the the issues that she has going on, I could potentially bring it back to the baby, and I can't do that. Um, but my grandma is not doing good at all. Um, I'm assuming from what they're all saying, it's life and death right now. And then with angry grandpa, he's getting real sick. And I just told Miss Chubbs the other day, I'm like, wow. I'm like, if angry grandpa dies. I'm going to have a nervous breakdown. And, like, I don't think we really thought it was as bad as it was until just, like, the other day. Yeah. Like, I think, like, n neither of us thought it was that bad. And I just felt really bad for Michael and Bridget because I feel like they do so many nice things for people. And they're such nice people and are genuine people and have really been getting... Just excuse Dog my language, but shit on yeah. lately. Like, horrible things have been happening to them. And now, you know, they've been dealing with Charlie, and now he's doing all this when they already have enough on their plate. And, I, and I'm sorry, but Mrs. Chubbs will agree with me that if you're coming to our channel and you feel as though Charlie could turn around or you feel as though we should give Charlie a second chance, I'm, I'm really not trying to be a jerk. But please don't even subscribe to our channel. Like, don't watch us. I, had, I, I We don't want to hear it. We could care less what you think about Charlie Chill. I knew I knew he was going down tubes when he was living with Michael. Because he had just been starting to watch him a little bit. And I told him, the, the day that he went crazy, it was that day. I said, hey, put on that Charlie Chill guy. Because... <laughs> He's a freaking train wreck. And I'm telling you, it's going to happen before long. He's going to fall apart. And then that night was when all that happened yeah. with Bridget. When you decided to lay your hands on a woman. Right. <laughs> uh, so I, I always tell him, I knew that he was going downhill. I didn't think it was going to happen that fast. Um, or that it was going to be as extreme as it is. 
I just feel like he's such a liar. Well, what kills me, and I hate to cut you off, what kills me is how everybody wants to still support Charlie Chill. Right. But yet, it's on YouTube. Search it, you'll find it, where he flat out says about Isaac, kid behind the camera is one friend, and he has his own YouTube channel, Be Our Guest. I shouldn't have to shout him out because the man's got a lot of views and a lot of subscribers. But he, there's videos. Look at it. You Charlie fans, go look at it where he says, I will rape your wife and kids. Right. I will rape your wife and kids. I will beat your fat da-da-da-da-da. Right. But yet you guys still want to support him. I don't understand that. Right. I don't get it. Like, why? Why would you support a man? And then he talks about how... He wants his, his that Isaac's two kids should have been like abortions, uh -huh. and they're little effed up little kids that aren't going to amount to nothing. What have you amounted to? Right. From what I see, Isaac works this YouTube thing twenty four seven now. He lives, breathes, eats YouTube. He's got his his music career that he's he's working out. Whatever he's doing with that, they're doing their gaming videos all the time. Nikki is trying to make makeup videos and do all kinds of stuff. They're grinding every day. Or how about he's just a father, which is something that Charlie Joe is not. Absolutely. I mean, the you know, that's exactly what it is. Charlie Cho, you are nothing but a piece of crap. You, you know. And, and for you to have other people pay for your child support <sighs> blows my mind. Because let me tell you something. And I don't know if I've spoke this before, but I do have kids. And I do pay child support for those kids. But guess what? When I was out of work, when I didn't have a job, and I couldn't pay my child support, I didn't go and beg to this one or that one or the other one or even her that, hey, I need money for child support. She made really good money to where she could have gave me money for me to give to my kids for child support. Did she? No. Did she offer before? Oh, yeah. Multiple times. Did I ever accept? Hell no. Guess what I did? Charlie Chill. I went out and looked for a job and I found one. I've worked some crappy places. I've worked with a mental, mental, mentally disabled making crap pay. Horrible pay. I worked at a little tiny uh, shopping store. Horrible pay. Mm -hmm. The job that I have now, amen, I get really good money that I don't have to, you know, you know, we get by a little bit easier. But like, I'm not going to mooch and neither should you. Get a job. Your YouTube thing ain't working. Guess what? Get a real job. Flip burgers. And listen, we don't live great, but we live com like decently. And let we listen. We both have to work. Like that's why I have to go back to work. That's why he's working. It's called life. It's what you do. You have to do it. It's part of life. Unless you're born with a silver spoon in your mouth, or somehow you hit the lottery or something, you work. You work for your money. It's what you do. It's just life, but I just am so tired of him. If you watch his videos, uh, you know, uh, my life, you know, I've done some horrible things and my life is just, you know, falling apart. You do it and you just keep doing it and you're doing it to really good people who don't deserve it. And like right now, this should be the farthest thing from their minds. Michael and, and Jen and Kim are losing their father. It should be the farthest thing. Like, they shouldn't even have to worry about that at all, period. All they should be focusing on is, you know, being with him. And they got to worry about all this other stuff because you want to, oh, I'm going to, you're going to exploit this and you're going to say this and you're going to, and, you know, run your mouth about this. Like, how horrible. Like, karma is so going to get you and it's not going to be good at all. Because karma will get you for doing this. It's a horrible thing. Like, And you got to remember, everything that you put online is there forever. Right. So all these all these statuses that you were hacked and they were saying all these horrible things, um, that's going to haunt you for the rest of your life. It is. Um, so with that being said, yeah, I want to get done talking about him because he's probably getting a chuckle out of this if he comes across this video anyways. But uh, from the bottom of our hearts, we just hope that, Grandpa, you get better. Michael and Bridget, you're in our thoughts and prayers. Yeah, we don't know that you guys will ever see this, but we just, we are If really, you do come across it, we yes. really are sorry for you guys. We think about you all the time. Seriously, this one here feels like he's losing a family member. Uh -huh. um, you know, uh, we hate to see it happen. You know, he knows what it's like. I, yeah, it's poop, but... um. Yeah, there's still hope that he'll pull through and everything right. will be fine. Um, but now that we're done doing that little rant, I 
I wasn't going to bring this up in a video, but I figured I would uh, let you guys know what our plan is for the next couple of weeks. So I'm sure if you YouTube search, or you may have already seen it, it's called the Packy, I think it's Packy, right? Or Pocky, Pocky, Packy, I don't know. It's the one chip uh, Carolina Reaper chip challenge. Uh, we are going to be doing that. Now, let me just explain something to you. Mrs. Chubbs likes a little bit of spicy. I like a little bit of spicy. Um, I grew peppers a couple years ago that were habanero, and I starved them because they say if you starve your peppers of water, they get hotter and hotter and hotter as they're growing. And I starved the ever-living crap out of these peppers of water, deprived them, and they got really hot habaneros. She ate a slither of one and was in agony all day long. Um, and I said that I would try it too. I backed out like a little sissy. He tasted so, it. He put it on his tongue and then and I took quit. it out and literally and cried like a that. Yacht. That was a habanero pepper, which, if I'm not mistaken, habanero peppers are like a couple of thousand on the Scoville. Mm -hmm. And the Carolina Reaper, that chip is at like 2.2 million Scoville units. So it's like me stuffing a whole butt ton of habaneros in my mouth at once and chewing it and swallowing it. So I have a feeling I'm going to probably get really sick and cry like a little two-year-old. Um, as of right now, it's going to be me and Mrs. Chubbs. Uh, her niece says she's going to do it. Her nephew says he's going to do it. Anna. Uh, her one friend Anna said that she will do it. And I think that is it for now. We're not too sure. We might try to get some more people in, in the mix to try it. And uh, maybe we'll have a little competition on if you don't do it, you have to do something else. I don't know. We'll see. But uh, that's, that's our plan. All right, guys. So we're going to end the vlog. Uh, we're going to leave it where it is. But before I go, what I wanted to say was um, we've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and a lot of different vlog channels. And some of the stuff that I see that they're doing, we're going to try to do, get a little bit more creative. So it's just not like, say, um, like how our vlogs have been where we're sitting here at the house and the next thing you know, we're in our car driving. Or we're here, but then in another clip, we're in the kitchen or in the bedroom or in the basement or in the backyard. We're going to try to do a little bit more smoother transitions in our vlogs to make them a little bit more appealing to you guys. So it's not just like, here we are here, then here we are in another room. So yeah, we're going to try um, some different little artistic point and shoots. So bear with us. Yeah. Bear with us. We, we, you know, we're, we're learning. Yeah. But anyways, with that being said, it's going to be game over for us. We love you guys so much. Big Mac Pizza will be out tomorrow. So keep a lookout for that. Hopefully it turns out good. And um, whether it's good or bad, you're going to see it. So we love you guys. Game over. See ya.